Kia School. The phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs. Les phrasal verbs ou verbes à particules sont une particularité de la langue anglaise. Il est très utile de connaître les plus courantes pour éviter les erreurs de compréhension. Généralité Phrasal verbs sont composés d'un verbe et d'une particule. Si le complément en est un pronom, ce dernier se place entre le verbe et la particule. Alors, phrasal verbs égale, qui veut dire is equal to, verb plus particle, verb plus particule. Exemple. Can you pick up this sheet? Can you pick up this sheet? Qui veut dire en français, peux-tu ramasser ce drap? Alors, là, tu pick up, là c'est un phrasal verb. On peut bien sûr dire « Can you pick it up ?»« Can you pick it up ?» ou bien « Can you pick it up ?» Donc, toujours « to pick up », c'est un « phrasal verb » qui veut dire bien sûr en français « Peux-tu le ramasser ?» The particle looks like a preposition, but it doesn't function as a preposition. Je répète, the particle looks like a preposition, but it doesn't function as a preposition. For example, he woke up at half past six a.m. He woke up at half past six a.m. Ou bien, he woke up at six thirty a.m. Strangers woke him up. Strangers woke him up. Alors là, up, c'est une particules et non pas une préposition. Particles are parts of the verb phrase and they often change the meaning of the verb. Particles are parts of the verb phrase and they often change the meaning of the verb. He looked up at the skyscraper. He looks up at the skyscraper. La up, c'est une préposition. Parce que le verbe ici, c'est quoi? C'est to look. Et non pas to look up. Attention. She looked up a word in her dictionary. She looked up a word in her dictionary. Donc ici, up, c'est une particule. Pourquoi Parce que le verbe, c'est « to look up ». Le verbe ici, c'est « to look up ».« She looked up a word in her dictionary ». Many phrasal verbs and one-word verbs have similar meanings. Many phrasal verbs and one-word verbs have similar meanings. For example, we've got this photo, this picture, nous avons une photo. Please take off your shoes. Please take off your shoes. Donc là, to take off. Ça, c'est un verbe à particules. To wake up. To wake up. Qui veut dire? Awaken. To awaken. To go on. To go on. Go on. C'est to continue. To take off, to take off, c'est enlever, to remove, to remove. Phrasal verbs are less formal and more common in everyday speech. Phrasal verbs are less formal and more common in everyday speech. Transitive phrasal verbs have objects. Mass transitive phrasal verbs are separable. For example, for example, he called up his boss to tell him he had overslept. He called up his boss to tell him he had overslept. 
His boss is the object. We can also say, on peut bien sûr dire, He called his boss up. He called his boss up to tell him he had overslept. The object can come after the phrasal verb or between the verb and the particle. The object can come after the phrasal verb or between, entre, between the verb and the particle. We've got this picture, nous avons cette photo. No wedding, pas de mariage. At the last minute, the bride called off the wedding. At the last minute, the bride called off the wedding. At the last minute, the bride called the wedding off. On peut dire bien sûr, at the last minute, the bride called the wedding off. Voilà. The wedding, c'est the object. The object, quoi? Peut être, bien sûr, après le phrasal verb ou bien entre. Le verbe est la particule. Be careful, be careful. When the object is a pronoun, it must, il faut, it must come between the verb and the particle. When the object is a pronoun, it must come between the verb and the particle. A friend called up her at work, ça se dit pas, c'est faux. On dit, a friend called her up at work. A friend called her up at work. La liste est un peu longue, mais bon. On a break down, to break down, tomber en panne. Break up, break up, rompre une relation amoureuse. Bring up, bring up, élever un enfant. Call off, annuler, carry on, between brackets, with, continuer. Et là, bien sûr, euh, euh, à droite, vous avez des exemples, des phrases en anglais, voilà, avec la traduction en français. Catch up with, to catch up with, c'est rattraper. To do without, to do without, se passer de. To figure out, to figure out, comprendre. To find out, to find out. Découvrir. To get on with. To get on with. S'entendre avec. To get over. To get over. Surmonter. To give back. To give back. Rendre. To give up. To give up. Arrêter de faire quelque chose. Ou bien abandonner. To grow up. To grow up. Grandir. To hang up, to hang up, raccrocher. To hear from, to hear from, avoir des nouvelles de quelqu'un. To hear of, to hear of, entendre parler de. To hold on, to hold on, ne pas quitter au téléphone, bien sûr. To keep on, to keep on, continuer. To lie down. To lie down, s'arranger. To look forward to. To look forward to. Attendre avec impatience. To look up. To look up. Chercher. Voilà. Un mot, par exemple. To make out. To make out. Distinguer. To make up for. To make up for, compenser ou bien attraper. To pick up, to pick up, passer prendre en voiture. To point out, to point out, faire remarquer. To put away, to put away, ranger. To put off, to put off, reporter. To ring up, to ring up, 
appelé au téléphone. To run away, to run away, s'enfuir en courant. To show off, to show off, se vanter ou bien frimer. To slow down, to slow down, ralentir. To take after, to take after, tenir de quelqu'un. To take off, to take off, décoller. To think over, to think over, think over. Réfléchir. To turn off, to turn off. Éteindre. To turn on, to turn on. Allumer. To wake up, to wake up. Réveiller ou bien se réveiller. To write down, to write down. Noter, écrire, prendre note de quelque chose. To run away, to run away. S'enfuir. En courant, to show off, to show off, se vanter ou bien frimer, to slow down, to slow down, ralentir, to take after, to take after, tenir de quelqu'un, to take off, to take off, décoller.